Hey, we've got some great style in the house and I'm not talking about mine, um, but we have some wonderful uh, red stagger wing bags. I got some Emma's Hella Hanks to show you and some really cute style and baby stuff too. So I'm Cadence Kidwell, proprietor here at Fuzzy Goat in Thomasville, Georgia, and you can see all that I'm talking about at fuzzygoatyarns.com. So we just, this time of the year is just fabulous because the sale is over, the shop feels clean and fresh, and we're getting brand new things in, and then some of them don't even last long enough for me to show them to you on Saturday. Um, so this is our new red stagger wing urban tote. A customer came in with this fabulous bag and I wish I remembered her name um, and we had to ask about it she had gotten it at Rhinebeck and we tracked down the maker for you and we found Lisa at Red Stagger Wing and she designs limited edition hand printed linen leather sometimes canvas sourcing high quality materials from independent businesses um, it's a real priority for our team they're classic pieces, they hold up to everyday use, and she has a small all-women team in New Hampshire, so I just love that. Um, I picked from her selection the fabrics, you can see some of them up here too, and asked her to make the insides all light because I do like to be able to see what's inside my bag. I know for some of you, that, look at this one there, this one's particularly charming. Um, I know some of you would prefer dark because things get dirty, but I'd rather see a little dirt than not be able to see all the other things down in my bag. So I'll be uh, showing you the insides of these also, but let me show you the outside. So this is uh, leather down here, and then there's pockets on the outside. There's one here that's just perfect for your phone, and another one for your keys. And then inside, it has a snap, so you can snap it shut. And then inside, there is a uh, there is also two pockets so it's big enough for a um, a project and then also enough for your essentials you know you can kind of throw your wallet in there too Sherry says she saw their booth at Rhinebeck I've seen pictures of that booth it is stunning so we're really tickled to have these here I will say I got five and I got two of each color so I did not get very many um, because I want to see what you guys think about them. They're beautifully made. I just love them. So uh, this is the orange flowers, I believe. Yes. And then I'm not going to remember the names of each of these, but this, I believe this is yellow dot. And this is, let's see if I can see here. This one is flower fields. And this one is bunny twall. And what is this one here? This one is yellow, yellow fields, I believe. Something like that. So I just love these, and if you love them, we will continue to get them. We're so happy that Lisa um, made them for us and did it, and they came faster than I expected. So these are great style, great bags for uh, just everyday bags, but also you can use them for your knitting. So we're super excited about having those. Then we also got a restock of our uh, Appalachian Baby Kits. So Melissa has actually made this sweater herself. Look at this sweet little baby sweater. Isn't this the most darling sweater with the little ears and everything? A lot of times people are um, say, oh, I don't want to knit that. They're going to outgrow it really fast. This is perfect to then put on like a stuffed animal and just really keep that heirloom present after the baby has grown out of it. It's organic cotton, so the moms love that. They uh, use custom mills and get the cotton from Texas. And it's really soft it can be machine washed and dried it's u.s certified organic so the moms love that and it has a special uh twist on it so it actually makes it really soft and no dyes are added so it's just a really great lovely finished and the kit comes with the buttons so you've got the kit for the baby bear sweater and then also this is what i love about taking um melissa to market because she sees things in a new eye she saw this kit a bit ago at market and we can't keep it in stock so we just got restocked so I thought I'd show you this baby blanket is pick a knit which means you can choose which one and which color which of these stitches you want to do so it's a great little sampler blanket also made out of the Appalachian baby so really soft cuddly sheen wash and dry um, goes with all sorts of baby decor we love those and maybe if you want to add a little bit of whimsy along with your baby gift, excuse a little middle there, 
is we have these knitted uh, knitted toys. So it's super rare to find really cute knitted toys. You can find crochet toys, and I've shown you some of those, but we found some knitted toys, and this is a Danish company that also focuses on responsibility, social responsibility, from their product development to facilitating workplaces for people who um, live in more rural areas and are further from job opportunities. I just love that. So they have an internal job coach, and the makers take the first step towards you know working in the employment field, I mean, working in the um, fiber field. So we got this cute little guy here. He is called uh, John Bear, kind of like John Deere, but John Bear. Um, we've had him, and he continues to charm us as long. And, and in addition, we have Melinda Monkey, and I have the measurements for these on the website as well. This guy is new, uh, Tynus Frog, which would also be cute, you know, for thinking about if we ever have to frog, which is sad when we do, but we might as well have a good time. And um, this one here, I love the little lilac sweater. She is uh, Tess Bear, so she's got a little lilac striped sweater. And this is San Fox, because foxes are super cute. And if wool came from foxes, yarn came from foxes, we might be the fuzzy fox. Maybe that's another venture in the future. No, I kind of got my love and my heart is here. No, there's no fuzzy fox. Somebody else can take that name and go run with it. Yarn. We got some fabulous yarn in. We got Emma's Hella Hanks. Let me move this down just a bit so you can see this. Okay. Emma's Hella Hanks. 600 yards. 600 yards. What you could do with that, I will show you some ideas. 600 yards of merino, cashmere, and nylon. Really amazing blend, amazing colors. We don't have a base like this in any other yarn but Emma's. And so when this box came, we were super excited. Look at all this fun happiness in here. Oh my goodness, okay. So this one here is called Lake Totally. 600 yards, you could make a ranunculus. Um, most sizes, you could actually use two skeins of this and make most sizes. Um, this behind me here is Melissa's Ranunculus, and so Lake Totally would get a similar effect from that one there. Mavis just loves the Hella Hanks. We do too. Um, so that's one thing that you could do with it. Uh, let me get my little pattern selections here. Um, let me jump around. We also can do crochet. This is my cherries shawl here. And one hank, you could leave out a few repeats. One hank would do this. So that would be really fun in say, Foxy Lady. I love this Foxy Lady. Or um, let's see, even this one here, Tealicious. Mm. Now there's, let me see, there's a few in here that are two colors. This one is actually three colors. Melissa found this one for us. Against all odds, here, Isabel Kramer, one of our absolute favorites. And you can see here that there's lots of variations. You can put stripes in, you can knot, you can do them solid. And so you could mix up these different Hella Hanks here. And so maybe you wanna stripe it with, uh, this is a Melissa favorite here, Jackie O, and put that with the Tealicious. Look how great that would be and then maybe use Foxy Lady at the top, but maybe you want to do a little bit more monochrome. You could do bell bottoms at the top and make that. That is a really pretty sweater. Yummy. Uh, what else have we got here? We have um, Melissa's newest obsession here, and for good right, good reason, maple vest. Look at that with that split hem. I was convinced this was brioche. I said, Melissa, this is brioche. This is brioche down here. But when we printed out the pattern and looked at it up close, it's just uh, twisted stitches. It's just knitting into the back, so that's what makes it raised up a little bit more. So we're super excited about that. There'll probably be a class coming in that one soon and lots of options. That's just really sweet. And it's even got some of that ribbing down across the front too. That would be perfect in this. And maybe that you wanna make that in Jackie O or bell bottoms, but also briar rose. That would be really pretty in briar rose. It's rainy and dismal here today, so I wish I had a um, V-neck boxy. 
I might just actually have to do that. You're probably thinking, what are you waiting for? You have a yard shop. Yeah. So what would I do that in? That would be pretty in any of these solids, of course, but I also have seen uh, some beautiful V-neck boxies in some variegated, so I think this uh, shell, yeah, would be really pretty in that and just really lift your spirits on a rainy day. Or you could do that in Everglades. That's really pretty. Okay, here comes one that's really fun. This is the Forest Shawl by Laura Dobratz. Laura Dobratz is the mom of Emma. So Laura writes a lot of great patterns for Emma's yarns. The Forest Shawl is near and dear to my heart because it was originally um, naughty and nice for our box of goats. So a lot of times, um, Laura, almost all, every time, Laura will take her box of goats pattern, which has 16 different colors and is extremely exquisite, and then turn it into a Hella Hank project. So this one here that Darling Emma, right there, is wearing is in uh, Wish You Were Beer. So that's a really nice meditative pattern. It's got uh, yarn overs in there to make the texture. That one skein would do that. But maybe your name is, uh, your, these yarns are calling out for two of you. Good People is another Laura Dobratz pattern, and you would use two, uh, so one of each. Oh my gosh, you could put so many things together. This one's fun, uh, Bell Bottoms and Briar Rose. You could do something really subtle and sophisticated. This one, this one here is Road Less Traveled, and this one is Petal. Those two together would be really nice and kind of subtle, like that one there. So that's good people. Oh, I would act, I would probably put Briar Rose and Foxy Lady together. A little happy and a little rustic there. Oh my, okay, <laughs> back to business. Then we have Casapinka, who's also a good friend of Laura Dobratz and Emma's. We have Casapinka's um, long, long story short, and you could do that in one skein. So that's a different shaped shawl, like that there. Um, this one doesn't show up as good in the picture, but we have had this sample on loan for a little bit, and it's stunning. One skein here, Mother of Pearls. I just love all that texture in there. So be sure and see that online and um, zoom in so that you can see that. And this is uh, also a great vest here, the Rock Hound vest. The smallest size for a 34 inch is one skein. So most of us will need two, but two skeins and hardly any ends to weave in, that's the ticket there. That's really cute. You know how I feel about some vests. And then last but not least with the Emmas, you could do soul searching, which is what I'm wearing now. And this one was done in a 400 plus yard skein, but the pattern is very easy to adapt and make um, longer and so and it also holds up to a variegated yarn and so you could use uh, uh, road less traveled you could use shell yeah oh I didn't show you this one here this one is better than the hype which is a little more peachy than the shell yeah so yeah all right we also got in our Emma's box some goat cows goat cows are also an original originally to a box of goats, um, which also had 16 different colors. And Laura has adapted that to seven. And uh, so it's the same size as the goat cow for the goat box, but it is, uh, the skeins are bigger and has done it with, with seven. So this one here is our, it's called um, fuzzy goat, because there's, she made a fuzzy goat color here, which is this one here and there. So that's the fuzzy goat. And then other ones that are really popular here is navy blazer. And you can put those in whatever order you want. You know, which color would you like closer to your face? This is super popular. We just ship lots of these to you guys all over the place. Um, so uh, Valerie, I'm not sure which one you're asking about, but this one, the last thing I showed was this is a shawl, but the kuma cowl is a, is a cowl here. And this shawl is big enough that you can wrap it around 
this is really pretty here. This colorway is Barking Up a Tree because that's Barking Up the Wrong Tree because that's this color there. And then I have some I have some real favorites in here. This one here, which I, I personally would not put the pink right up next to my face, but I love all these other colors and that happy pink down here would be really pretty. And this is, I believe this is Shut the Front Door. Then we got Navy, Navy Blazer and Wish You Were Beer. Wish You Were Beer is so popular in every format that we get it. And last but not least with the Emmas, I still have a few more things to show you, is we got our uh, got Kuma Cow kits. So Kuma Cows is actually similar to the Goat Cow in shape, but you use the mohair all the way through and then alternate or add in these other colors as you go. It's super addicting, a lot of fun. We got this one here called Love and Leche. Beautiful teals. This one here has got Seminole written all over it. And it is called uh, Nailed It. So did you see the gold in there? Because I kind of hit it. There you go. Um, and then in the brighter colorway here is Fishbowl. Got Fishbowl. And then last but not least is Bell Bottoms. So really cl classic, great with jeans, grays, even blacks. So that was what came in our lovely and amazing Emma's order this time around. We have some pop-ups scheduled. So we're gonna start filling in um, our calendar and Sherry just says she feels a road trip in her future and here's an even more reason. Okay, so in the, the next couple of weeks, I don't have the exact date yet, we're gonna have Adela Q, which is those lovely Makers Canvas bags. We're going to um, have a pop-up with those bags where you can order and, and whichever ones you want in, in the color that you want, so that's gonna be really fun. March 30th, so I do have the exact date of that, we have Bad Sheep Yarn coming, so we're super excited about that. Um, she's gonna stay at our Airbnb, so we're really glad to host her just all the way around. And so we cannot wait for that. We will definitely have Marcy on our Facebook Live that day. Uh, earlier in March, I kind of went a little out of order here, is uh, we're getting a shipped pop-up from Terrapin Fiber Works. Those are amazing um, fiber dyed, how do I want to say this? Plant, they're plant dyed bases. And they are exquisite and deep and rich in color like I have never seen on a plant-based yarn. So I cannot wait to see those. Um, in April, we're going to have seven sisters. So Karen from Maine is shipping us a box. And in June, Mary of 29 Bridges is shipping us one from Maryland. And then let me go back to April and Local Yarn Shop Day. It would not be Local Yarn Shop Day without Knitwise, so Alicia will be here for that. That is April 27th. And then Copper Corgi will be here in September when we have our big Fuzzy Turns 10. So we're super excited to celebrate that with Sarah Daru. And with that, I'll show you what I've been working on and another project. So my, I have not made very much progress on my Gambit Cardi, but I still love it and I still wanna show it off. And here is my Gambit Cardi and I'm using Knitwise Fibers uh, Tweety DK. It's really fun. The cables come, you knit the, so there's no button band later on and the buttons, which you know, we've got some fabulous buttons. The buttons go um, through the cable here. Let me get my finger in there right. Let's see. There we go. The buttons are going to go, the cable becomes the buttonhole. Isn't that fun? Oh, I need to work on this some more. But I've been working on my Good Vibes pattern. So I can't show you that because I'm working on it for the box and it's kind of a secret. This was a Good Vibes pattern from before and now it's launched and out in the world. And it just tickles me because my daughter Caroline is going on it. Um, a trip with her wife Natalie and they she wanted a yarn project and she picked one of one of my patterns to do and took the yarn from the last good vibes box to do it 
<laughs> so it, uh, yes, it is a top-down cardigan. So I'm loving my Gambit Cardi, and hopefully I'll have something new to show you. And another project I've been working on, you know, okay, so my our Billy bags. I love my Billy bag. I love the color. I love everything about it. We are trying to find out more ways to use it. We've come up with the idea of making bandanas, so we're going to be picking the fabric for that um, because our great uh, printer, just 200 yards, 200, 200 yards, 200 miles down the road in Panama City, has sent us a great selection of fabrics to choose from. And so Alana gave us a, a, a bandana pattern. We worked with her a little bit on it. First, it had just uh, two big goats. We decided, with Renee's help, and crowdsourced it here in the lodge that we needed four because the way we fold them. And Alana designed it that way and then also did it in two other colorways for us. This is so exciting. So we're also going to have Billy bags eventually made in, these, in this colorway and this colorway also. And I will confess, this is a little more neutral for me. I, I do like browns. And Russ, but you know, I'm loving that color there. But everybody we show this to, they just really love a neutral also. So we just have, are having more fun than is legal in, around here. And we get to do all of it because of you. And also support these amazing makers. You know, Lisa, who makes these beautiful bags, wouldn't be able to keep doing what she loves without your support. And we surely wouldn't be able to. And Emma and Laura Dobratz. And just all the way around, we just love that whole circle. Katrinkles. Katie and Mary Ann, uh, this is our little uh, shawl cuff here that just comes apart and this is going to hold my shawl in place because I'm a little clumsy and I'm moving around all the time and so this is going to kind of hold it in place for me today and that's what I've got. I hope that we inspired you because that is our joy. You can text us at 229-236-GOAT about any questions you have about what I showed you or what patterns. The pattern links will all be up at the Emma's Yarns, so that is an easy-peasy way for you to find them. Have a fabulous day.